But we are going to begin with the hunt for that missing Marine accused of murdering a pregnant colleague. This morning, federal authorities say the suspect may have fled the country. NBC's Martin Savage has the latest on the search. Martin, good morning to you. Morning, Meredith. FBI officials can't say for certain, but they believe that Corporal Cesar Lorian has fled into Mexico. And they say this morning they are working with Mexican authorities to try and track him down. On the run for six days, the efforts to find Corporal Cesar Lorian may have just entered a whole new realm. It's very possible that he moved uh, down through Texas and uh, certainly looking at the uh, possibility he's in Mexico. According to FBI documents, Lorian told members of his Marine Corps unit he would flee to Mexico if it appeared he'd be found guilty of rape. At the time, he was under investigation for sexual assault, a charge brought by Maria Lauterbach, the woman he's now accused of murdering. The U.S. Marine who speaks Spanish became a naturalized citizen in 2003. Lorian's run began last Friday after the Marine left a note for his wife saying he had buried Lauterbach in the backyard, claiming she had committed suicide. Lauterbach's burnt body was uncovered Saturday. An autopsy revealed she died of a blow to the head. Federal sources tell NBC News Lorian has continued to attempt to communicate with his wife, Christina, sending letters back to North Carolina, postmark Houston, Texas, nearly 1,300 miles away. She's been extremely cooperative every time that we've asked her to speak to us or to come down for an interview. She spent long hours here answering all of our questions. Investigators wouldn't reveal what the note said. Meanwhile, local authorities spent Wednesday going over Lorian's pickup truck, looking for clues of a crime and any hint of where the young Marine might be. Meanwhile, the local newspaper this morning is reporting that the murder weapon is a crowbar. The FBI is saying because they're not sure that Lorian has crossed into Mexico, they're still asking the public to be on the lookout and to call or email should they see him. Meredith? Martin Savage, thank you very much. Richard Colco is the spokesman for the FBI, which is overseeing the manhunt for Cesar Lorian. Mr. Colco, good morning to you, sir. Good morning, Meredith. I know there's not a lot of information that you can share with us because this case is, is still ongoing, but the FBI at this point seems to believe that Lorian is in Mexico. What do you base that on outside of a, an eyewitness or short of an eyewitness? Well, there's a lot of things that have occurred here, Meredith. Um, it became a fugitive investigation once Lorian left North Carolina. FBI working with the Marshals, NCIS, and other authorities have worked to try and track him down. We do this two ways. We first work with the police by trying to get as much information as we can out there. And another important thing we do is by working with the public. Our public affairs role is we get the uh, poster up, we get the press releases out, we use the online, the media, NBC has been very helpful as far as keeping his picture out there. There's only so many police eyes out there, but there's a lot of citizens' eyes out there. So what we're trying to do is engage the public to be aware, possibly make a phone call. We put up a tip line, 1-800-CALL-FBI. You can see the information on our website, fbi.gov. And we, we're looking for people out there who may have information on where Lorian could be at any time. But what I'm asking, I guess, is has he been spotted by anybody in Mexico? Well, at this time, we have some, well, not in Mexico, but we, well, I don't want to talk specifically about the specifics of the investigation, but we have developed some intelligence, some information that has made us relatively sure that he has been uh, has crossed the border into Mexico. All right, Richard Colco with the FBI. Thanks very much. Thank you.